Hey guys, today I'm gonna to make some chicken wings in the slow cooker. So let's get cracking. I have a tray of chicken wings here. These are uh, 2.75 pounds. These were $3.99 per pound. So this tray of wings costs $10.97. Chicken wings are getting kind of expensive these days. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse them off. Then I'm just gonna season them with some of that mild barbecue rub from the J. Christopher Company and put them in a dry slow cooker. All right, my chicken is all rinsed. I just rinsed out this tray. It works good for seasoning the chicken wings here. So I'll just do these on both sides. I just bought this rub by the J. Christopher Company at the grocery store, but they sell it on Amazon as well. I'll put a link to my Amazon store if anybody wants to check that out. I also just list a lot of different things that I use in my cooking videos. So now we'll just get these into a dry slow cooker. I'm not going to add any liquid to this. I used to add the barbecue sauce and cook them in barbecue sauce, but what happens is all the juice that cooks out of the chicken kind of dilutes the sauce. So I have to put the sauce on at the end now. My wings are all seasoned up. Now we'll get the lid on there. And I'm going to cook these on high. And I'll let you guys know how long that takes. It has been three hours, so I think these are done. Now see how much liquid that made on its own? If I was gonna add the barbecue sauce to the pot, I would drain that liquid out first because like I said, it dilutes it down too much otherwise. But what I think I'm going to do is just take some of these out and put them in a cast iron pan and put the sauce on and then um, broil them in my toaster oven. And what that will do is caramelize the sauce, but it will also help crisp up the skin a little bit. These don't look bad just the way they are, but the sauce I'm gonna put on them is Kinder's Mild. This 10 inch uh, cast iron skillet fits perfectly in my toaster oven, so I'm just gonna uh, put that, put this in my toaster oven, but you could use a baking sheet if you wanted to, uh, you know, put them in the big oven. I set my oven to broil and turn it all the way up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll just get those in there for a few minutes and I'll just keep an eye on them. Those were under the broiler in the oven for about 10 minutes and they look pretty darn good. Let me try this drumette right there. These are my favorite. Those are good. Super tender, just falls right off the bone. And he showed up for the taste test. Guess I better not give her a bone though, but I'll pull a piece off. You want some of this, Annie? You want to try that? <laughs> Licked up every bit of it. <laughs> Annie approved. So that was three hours on high. He cooked them on low, probably five or six hours, I guess, but these were just falling off the bone tender. And putting them at the, in the oven at the end like that does kind of help crisp up the skin a little bit and caramelize that sauce. Like I said, you can put them on a baking sheet and do them in the big oven if you wanted to. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.